serious talk about a brokered convention. Brokered convention. The Republican Party will be signing a suicide note if there is a brokered convention. The brokered convention. It's sort of the white whale of politics. Exciting, extremely rare, and honestly, pretty unlikely to happen. But whether it happens or not, understanding how it works is key to understanding the primaries. So what exactly is a brokered convention? A brokered convention happens when one candidate fails to get support from more than half the delegates in the convention's first round of voting. Let's break that down. Right now, the candidates are crisscrossing the country in the hopes of winning a bunch of state primaries because those victories translate to more delegates at the party convention. For example, take Iowa. The winner of the caucuses there gets more Iowa delegates the bigger their margin of victory. And even candidates who don't come in first place in Iowa can still get a share of that state's delegates. But take Florida. The winner of that primary gets all the state's delegates. No sharing required. Once the delegates from all the different states have been counted up, we could still have a situation where no one candidate has a 51% majority. Then we'd have a brokered convention. Neither party has had a brokered convention in decades. But here's an example of how it played out in the past for the Republicans back in 1948. In the first round of voting, Thomas Dewey got the biggest share, but he was still short of a majority. Dewey's supporters went to the delegates who had supported other candidates and basically said, look, your guy is definitely going to lose. Why don't you join the winning team and vote for Dewey? It worked. By the third round of voting, Dewey had clinched the nomination. In recent years, there haven't been many surprises like this at conventions because so many primaries are early in the year. That means the winners get momentum, the losers drop out, and there's no need for a convention fight. But this year, it really is different. The possibility of Trump or Cruz as the Republican nominee is scaring the hell out of the Republican establishment, who know that both of these candidates are unlikely to win in the general election. But with Trump and Cruz polling so strong, a divided convention might be the only hope for an establishment candidate like Rubio or Kasich. So who knows, maybe this year the myth will become reality. If that happens, we'll definitely be there.